Point surveying. When we collect topography and ground facility location information, we usually use our TK to collect point surveying coordinates. How to perform point surveying? First, select different types of surveying modes according to the collection requirements. For example, if the ground objects have the same properties and need to be collected a lot, and there is no need to frequently change the point information, we usually choose quick points, or step point collection as some may call it. When converting parameters, we usually select control points mode. In other cases, we usually select topo points mode. After setting the point mode, confirm the pole height and check the settings in the software. If the pole height is not correct, it will affect the collected coordinate data, especially when using the inertial navigation function, it will affect both the horizontal coordinates and the vertical coordinates. Next, we will take you to conduct on-site surveying. 1. Topo points. Step 1. Connect the RTK and get fixed solution. Step 2. Set pole height, for example, 1.6 meters. Step 3. Locate the target point. Center the bubble on the centering rod, and click the locate icon. When the storage interface pops up, check if the information is all right, and click confirm to complete. When inertial navigation is on, the bubble does not need to be centered. 2. Quick points. Select quick points mode, and click the locate icon. If the collected points meet the storage conditions, the quick point collection will be completed after hearing the prompt tone, and the storage interface will not pop up. 3. Auto points. Select auto points mode, and click the setting icon. For example, record mode set as record by time, recording frequency 1 second, and click confirm. Click the locate icon to start auto recording. You can click pause to stop, and start to continue collecting. 4. Control points. Select control points mode, and click setting icon. Here we set average GPS count as 5, average GPS interval 1 second, average number 2, and fixed delay 15. Click confirm and click locate icon to start control point collection. During the process of measuring control points, the satellite will be resolved, and it's normal to get single point solution. If the discrete distance between the collection points is relatively large, a recollect prompt will pop up. Point surveying display information setting. Click the setting icon, and click info bar to select which information to display. Click tool bar to add or remove the tools on the tool bar. Next, turn on the inertial navigation function for point surveying collection. After turning on the inertial navigation, operate according to the status prompts. Data collection can be performed when the inertial navigation is available. Using inertial navigation can greatly improve the efficiency of data collection. To view the collected points information, click Point Database to check the details. This is all for today's video. See you next time. Bye-bye.